better. And this time, hold the stretch, guys. Hold on to those ankles and keep the legs straight. Hold on at five and four, three and two. Now slowly release the arms and roll your way up, scooping the abs in at the top of your shoulders, back and back. Let's pick up. So take it across, out to this side. And three and four, staying there and look up and look down. And inhale, take a little rotation and reach for the corner. And then slide all the way down. Now hold on to this, this leg, whichever one you go to first, bending into the leg you're holding onto. And then straighten and bend into the opposite leg, but you're still holding onto. So for example, I'm holding onto my left leg, so I bend into my right leg. And my right side is getting a nice stretch here. And straighten and then go back to the first side, bend. So slowly you're getting a nice release in the inner thigh as well. And then take it over to the other side. Five. And for a nice oblique stretch. Woo! And now lift up, come to center into a flat back tabletop. You open and close. Now swap sides and open and close. And now again, go open and close. Just one more. Feel free to bend the knees absolutely, yeah. Here comes double time. Go open, close, open and close. Breathe in and breathe out. Just the four more. So two each side. And open and close. Last two. And now back to center. So again, finding those hamstrings, bending the knees really, really deeply and slowly straighten up. Let's scoop the navel to the spine and roll it up four, three, and two. Shoulders back, guys. Going four and three. Let's take it to the other side. And we're going to get moving. One, really, really reach. And then look up and look down. And lift up and take a little rotation in your waist and then reach for the corner. Nice. And then slide it down. Obviously, prenatal, guys, to go as low as you want to. If you're early days, you might still be able to go quite low. And now holding onto this leg, you bend into the leg and straighten out and bend into the opposite leg while holding onto that same, that first, that same leg. It's confusing. Huh? So you bend into the opposite leg. And then just twice more. Here you go. Really, really stretch out the obliques and come back to center again. Walk the hands to the middle of the chest. Let's do rotate again. And open and close, open and close and open. Here's just another for of course prenatal guys. Just turn your head, just give your upper back a nice stretch, and that's all you need to do. And now slide it further down and walk out to a plank, right away, right away, guys. And rock forward and back. So forward and back, forward and back. Really working the Z go forward. Now for for more advanced, if you are really wanting a, quite a heavy hit in the morning. When you shift forward, you pick up one foot. And when you shift back, you put the foot down. When you shift forward, pick up the other foot, just one foot, that's it, nice. And we're here for another eight, back, seven, and six, and five, forward and back, and four. Pull the abs in nice and tight, and two. And now in the center, we pike up into downward dog. Shake out your head, and inhale to plank. Next time you go up, you're gonna lift one of the legs. Doesn't matter which one you do first. And then keeping the leg off the, the, off the floor as you shift forward into plank again. Here you go, all to the pike. With the leg up, inhale to plank with the leg off the floor. Just one more. Nice one. And then we hover forward with the leg off the floor. Flex and point the back foot. Flex and point. And flex and point. Shoulders over the wrist, guys, come on. And point, here's four. And point. Anytime you need to take a little breather, bring the opposite knee down. And from here, point the toes, just slide the toe up to the knee and send it back arabesque. So toe up to the knee and send it back arabesque. Exhale. If you don't focus on the breathe, you'll feel like you can't breathe. And last one, hold it here. With the knee out, go press out and out and out to the heavens. It's eight and seven, six and five, five, four, three and two. Now step the foot behind and go into the side plank. You can keep the foot behind for a little, little break or stack the feet and go up and up, crunching up and up. That's it, guys. Nice. Up and up and up. It's eight, seven, six, five. Nice. Four, three. And now, guys, bring the bottom knee down so the bottom knee touches the mat. Take a two seconds here and then we can imagine what's going to happen next. Bottom knee up and lower. Bottom knee up and lower. Bottom knee up. Come on, come on. Last four. That's it. And four. Keep breathing. Exhale. Inhale. Two more. And now hold it here. And now press up and up and contract and up. It's four, three, 
to and come back to that downward dog. Well done, everybody. Well, the feet up, well, the feet up. <clears throat> Press the heels down, heels down, four, three, and two. Now release the other leg. And now swing forward into plank with the other leg of the air and back into pike. Inhale to plank, exhale back to pike. Just a couple more. But if you want to slow down even more, absolutely fine. Now we're in plank again with the other leg of the floor. It's flex and point. And flex and point. Remember, anytime you need, you need to just bring the opposite knee down. That's all okay if you need to release. And point. Two more. And now keep the toe pointed. And then you slide the knee, toe to the knee, and arrow back to the leg back out. Into the knee and back out. And now, so right away, that glute is working like crazy to keep that knee off the floor, hey? And now, four more. Come in for two. And back out. Three more. Whew. And back out. Here you go, guys. Two more. Shh. And back out. Last one. Hold it here. Now press up and up and press and press to the heavens. Eight and seven. Six and five. High. Four. Three and two. Now step the leg behind. Adjust yourself into your side plank. You can keep the foot behind you. So it's like a, like a quarter. You can take a little, little break this way. Now pulsing up and up. Or you can stack your feet straight away and go into a proper side plank and press. And they're all proper, to be honest. And press. Well done, guys. Press. And press. It's four and three and two. Oh, my God. Now put the bottom knee down. Take a couple of seconds here. Little, little break. And now bottom knee up and lower. Bottom knee up and lower. Knee up and lower. Knee up and lower. Here's four. Exhale. Last two. Now hold those knees together. Now press up and up and lift and lift for four, three, and two. Come back to plank and up to that downward dog. Well done, everybody. Shake out your head. Walk the feet to the hands and the hands to the feet. Come to a forward fold and bending those knees. Keep your body really and everything a nice quick shake. Shake out your neck. And now slow, slowly straighten the legs again. Once more, that hamstring. And now scoop the navel to the spine and roll your way up. And reach for your item of choice. So either a bowl, a cushion, sofa cushion, anything. Just as long as uh, it's not too small, then and uh, as soon as you squeeze, it disappears. You want something that gives you some resistance when you squeeze. So it can be a roll of jumper, it can be a, even a book, yeah. So here we go. I use the bowl so you can see when I start squeezing. When I was using the other things, I realized when I was squeezing, no one can see me. So now we go up to the bar. And actually, let's go facing the bar. But remember, keep yourself close to your mat because you are going to be falling onto the mat very, very quickly. So we're facing the bar. Oh, if you don't feel like you need to face the bar, you can just hold on to your hip. And now feet nice and under your hips, so down and up and down. A little opportunity to catch your breath. And down and up. Four more down. And three more down and up. Two more down and up. Now stay right up. Go press and lift. So down and lift. As high as you can off those heels. Nice one. So if you don't need to hold on for now, you don't need to hold on. And down and press. And down. Now just stay down. Go drop hold. Drop hold. And drop. And drop. That's it. Go drop. And drop. So right away, even though you're not really squeezing, you are, you are having to work to keep whatever you choose to be there. Yeah, exactly, Jackie. That's a good choice. Eight, seven, and six, and five, and four, and three. And from here, let's add the squeeze. So one drop and squeeze, and drop and squeeze, drop, squeeze, and drop and squeeze, and down and squeeze. It's down. Now we're going double time, so it's almost one movement. You drop, squeeze, drop, squeeze, drop, squeeze, drop, squeeze. Heels up, can't get the heels any higher. My inner side's burning already. It's eight and seven and drop, squeeze and squeeze. It's four and three and two. And now, so all the way down. Unless your knees have a problem, come up halfway and hold it. All the way down. Come up halfway and hold it. All the way down. Come up halfway and hold it. All the way down. Come up halfway and hold it. Just four more, guys. All the way down. Come up halfway and hold it. Three more. All the way down, guys. Up halfway. Two more. All the way down. And halfway and hold it. Last one, guys. We are holding halfway. Reach up. Go press and drop 
and you are making sure you are ready halfway, you're not coming up here, and you and you are adding the squeeze, drop squeeze, drop squeeze, drop squeeze. It's eight and seven and six. Yes, squeeze it is four and three and two. Now hit the plank again and in the same position. Knees hovering off the floor, you squeeze and squeeze and squeeze it, squeeze. It's eight and seven, nice, it's six and five. Come on guys, four, three and two. From here, you just squeeze, squeeze, double time. Go squeeze, 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 guys. Come on, pop, 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 and pop, pop, pop. And it's eight, seven, six, and four, three, two. Now, keeping the ball right, keeping the item point right, right where they are, rolling down into a glute stretch. So you're now, so you are ready for glute bridge. Now, keeping the ball right where it is. And now heels close the bum, you lift up and low, and up and low. As I always say, I'm looking for a flat back, a straight back, or even just one fist distance away from the floor. It's not the bridge, yeah? And the up, keep squeezing the ball up and lower. We are adding the squeeze in two. Now guys, hold it up there. Now up and squeeze. So up and squeeze. And inch up and squeeze. Post up so you don't come down all the way anymore. And up and squeeze. And up and squeeze. Now we're gonna stay up and just squeeze. Go squeeze and squeeze. Can you keep digging the heel into the floor? Can you keep, keep getting that glute even higher without arching the back? Go squeeze and squeeze. Yeah, oh my God. It's eight and seven. Six arms in the air. If you feel the nice and strong about it, four and three. And now everyone onto your toes, halfway down and up. Halfway down and up. Don't let those knees open. So halfway down and up, four more down, and lift, three more down, and up, two more down, and up, guys. We are back up, now squeeze, and squeeze, super high. You're right up on tippy toe, and squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze. It's eight, pulling the belly button in. Oh my God, it's four, and three, and two. Now bring both heels down and float one leg up, but you're still holding your thing. So the leg is at an angle, and now lift, and lift, and press, and press. If you need to put the arms back down, put the arms back down. But stay with me, it's eight, seven. Yeah, don't drop your jumper, don't drop your tower. And it's four, and three, and two. Both feet back down the floor, squeeze, and squeeze. But the bum never touch down anymore. Go squeeze, yes, squeeze. And squeeze it, that's another eight, and seven. Can you keep lifting up any higher without arching the back? And two, and one more that the other leg is up. Don't drop your item of choice, so therefore the legs are at an angle. And now press up and up and up and up lift the arms in the air if you're feeling a bit confident now and up it's eight seven come on guys and break and four three and two both feet down this time onto your toes final 16 squeeze and we're out of it squeeze well done break and squeeze can you keep lifting up thinking of that smiley line at the bottom of your bum there go eight seven six and five we lose the ball after this and three and two and one, roll your way down. Remove the ball, I hope your inner thighs on fire. That doesn't look like anything. And now let's roll our way up, go back to the bar. <laughs> doesn't look like much, right? That's just catch you up. So now onto the side, <laughs> well done everybody. <clears throat> so onto the side, I quite, I quite like the, the thing we've been doing last week, so we're gonna go back to that. So from starting on, whichever side you choose to do, there's a second position. So we're gonna go away from the bar, twist, and then turn to the bar, yeah. Here we go, so second position, slightly wider than the hip. Let's take it down, so side lunge out away from the bar, and then turn the whole thing towards the bar, and away from the bar, and then towards the bar, just two more. Inhale, exhale. Last one, guys, and let's meet here. So if you're able to face, that's it. And now you flex and point, making sure you, you are completely parallel, this is a good way to tell if you see all five toes point at the floor. And four, and three, and two. Nice one, hold it here with the foot flex, now contract, and halfway out. So hamstring curl, and then halfway out. Curl, halfway out, curl, halfway out. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. This is what I find really challenging this one, more than everybody else. Yeah? And it's for four, and three, and two. Well done, let's stay here, now squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, and squeeze. While you're squeezing, can you keep lifting the leg up any higher without turning out? And it's eight, seven, oh my God. Has it, five, four, three, and stay here. Now lift and squeeze, lift and squeeze, and lift, 
and squeeze. Try never to let the heel go too far away from the butt. And lift and squeeze. Four more. And three more. And two more. Now stay right here and point the toes. Turn out and parallel. So you never drop the legs. Turn out and parallel. Yes, the legs stay behind you. Well, well done, well done. Turn out and parallel. Turn out and parallel. Four and close. And three and close. Nice. The hips are level. And the last one is out. Turn out. And now lift and lift and lift and lift. It's eight and seven. Supporting me is slightly, slightly bad. It's four and three and two. From here, you straighten and curl. Straighten and bend. Straighten and bend and straighten. Just four more. It's like a little release for the hamstrings. Down and up. Last two. And from here, we come back and little circle. You see, it's so small, you can barely see me move. You're circling from that knee. Oh, the knee is drawing circle there. And it's four, three, and circle the other way. Oh my God, circle and circle. And it's eight. The last group will just really catch up on you. Huh? Four and three, and now start to lift up and swipe the leg forward. So it's back and it's forward. So start to angle yourself, it's back and it's forward. Yeah, it's right where it was and come back forward. Next time you're gonna stop it forward and press and press and press. Well done, everybody go press and press. The body is super up, super upright, super straight. It's eight and seven. It's all turned out, all turned out guys. And four and three. And now flex the foot, go press and press and kick it out. It's eight, seven. Now Kiko, look at those legs. And it's four, three. Guys, hold it here, parallel and out. Parallel and noting how different they feel. Oh my God, and out. Four more, shh, and out. Three more, out, and out. Two more, and now stay on that turn out. Just lift on the straight leg, come on, lift and lift. Can you lift the arms up for the last eight? And then we go to sidelines and lift and lift. Yes, Jackie, it's four and three and two. Flip round. Yeah, you go, don't put the legs down. Nice one, so from the front to the side, from all square to all out yeah and now press and press you should be getting so strong with this now this is actually the easy bit go press and press it's four three and let's draw a little circle here circle and circle and circle it's for eight seven eight i always say remember which way you circle and four and three pilates side kick go down and down and up and back forward down up and back forward down don't mind the height yeah all so far everything it should be all safe for prenatal uh, and up just the three more up and forward down that's it two more guys up and forward up that's it last one we go back to where we were and now you circle the other way Woo! which way did you do and circle it breathe 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 and it's another eight seven six five four three start to lift up here we go contract and extend contract and extend oh my god contract and extend take that time and now just two more contract and extend you take that time don't rush anything now we're gonna pause three times go one two three and extend and dip and one two three extend and dip nice it's like a little one two three extend and dip and one two three extend just the formal and one two three extend up 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 and two well done everybody oh that man up two more shh, shh, shh. and out last one guys here we go and stay right here meet me and press and press and press it's eight seven, six, five guys, four, three, and then come back to horizontal, kick and kick. Last 16, come on guys, go for it. And kick and kick, come on, hoist that leg up. Eight, another eight, seven, six, oh, five, four, three, and two, hold, come back. <laughs> well done. Now the arms have a little break, so let's hit the mat again. This has a little break for the glutes. <laughs> You call it into the upper, into upper body, I'll press up. So it's a nice narrow one to start, elbows hugging the ribcage. It's down and up and down, up 
Inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out. As elbows into the ribcage. <clears throat> if you've always been doing it in box position, try to take it out to three-quarter plank. If you've been doing it in a three-quarter plank, try to go out to a whole plank, at least for a couple. Here's another five and four. I think I had two lazy a weekend. Last one, hold it here, guys. Ah, means pulling your shoulders away from the ears, pulling your belly button away from the floor, go press and press and press. Yes, press. It's eight, elbows hugging the ribcage every time. It's four, three, and two. Oh, roll away, well done. Roll away, roll away, roll away. Roll your way up, roll the shoulders back, shoulders back. And then next 15, next 16, out wide. Yeah, I put them together because this is really an easier one. So out wide, wider than your mat. But the chest is still in the middle of the, in the between the hands. Go down and up and down and up. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. I'm dripping with sweat. I hope you are. Last eight. Come on, guys. It's eight. Ah, seven. Nice and wide. I'm at six. Yes, and five. Feel the back working as well. Four and three <laughs> and two and one here. Hold it. And press and press and press. Well done, everybody. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, press away. <laughs> it burns. I think I might, my weekend have been too lazy, guys. <laughs> it burns like crazy. Here we go. We'll hit the bar the other side. So start, the starting was the same as last week, but I add the front bit in. Yeah, last week we did the back and the side, but this I add the front bit in. So let's go for it. I have to angle this slightly. So in the second position, you rotate away. Obviously, prenatal guys, just gently turn. Don't have to go so low. And then turn all the way to your bar. And then come back. I have to angle. And then all the way to the bar. Don't worry, I won't stay with my bum to you. I will turn around. And just two more. And then one. Actually, just one more after this. So we all got there. Last one, guys. And now we face squarely to our bar. Yeah, and the back is, the legs right behind you. Flex the foot and point. And flex and point. And flex. So in this position, really check how you're completely parallel. And flex the hard part. And two. And now keep the legs flexed. We curl it in, release halfway. Curl it in, release halfway. Yes, in, halfway. It's so hard to get the heel all the way to the bum, isn't it? I don't even know how to. In and back out. That's it. In and back out. And four. Well done, B. Yeah, well done. I know the hamstring thing is a bit challenging. And now hold it here. Just squeeze. Squeeze. Maybe next time I'm going to get you to squeeze something behind your knee as well. Go squeeze and squeeze. It's eight, seven, six, and five. Really, really making sure there's no dip in the lower back. And four, three. Hold it here. Let's add the lift. Lift and squeeze. Lift and squeeze. Lift and squeeze. Yes, lift and squeeze. That's right. And squeeze. Mikey, you actually has the ball. So, yeah. And squeeze. And lift. Four more, guys. And lift and squeeze. Really control the hamstring. Hamstrings lift up the glute. It's the shelf. Now, hold it here and just squeeze. And just lift and lift. With the heel as close as you can, go lift and lift. Almost there, guys. It's eight, seven, six, and five, four, three. Two, now point the toes and turn out and parallel. Nothing else in the body changes. Turn out. The hips don't open. Just contracting that glute and side glute to open out the leg. Turn out and parallel. Well done, Jackie. Look at that. Yes, nice. Woo! And I always know that like, 7 o'clock is always the, the, the group that just really challenge me because everyone gets so good. It's the same when I was teaching in the Virgin. Now keep that turn out, guys, and press. Press. I guess if you are there at, at 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock, you have the discipline, you're going to get better very, very quickly. It's 8, 7. Well done, B. Yeah, well done. Yeah, that's 4. And 3. Now stay here. Straighten and bend. It's like a little break for your hamstring. Straighten and bend. And straighten and bend. Makiko, we can put the ball back down afterwards. And just the two more. And now we keep the bend again. Now circle. Tiny circle with the knee. Yeah, exactly. So if you're holding something behind your knee, which I will make you do next week, or maybe sometime this week, it's really, really challenging because you can't drop the thing. Yeah, reverse, well done. And circle. Oh, my glutes and my hamstrings. And it's eight and seven. It burns so good, man. It just means working. It's four and three. And to start to gently lift up and then come through and then come forward. Yeah, so just from here, 
start to gently lift up and come forward and swipe back. There you go, guys. So forward and back. Yeah, make you keep the ball there for as long as you can, yeah? Forward and back. Forward and back. And two more. And now it's in front of you and just lift and lift. And you can keep the ball there for now. Yeah, come here, seven. Don't lose it, just lift. Yeah, lift and lift. It's eight, seven, six, and five. Oh my God, four and three. And hold it here. Go straighten and bend. So flex the foot and straighten. And straighten and bend. Really lift up. Really pull up using a power flow. Well done, everybody. And that's four and bend. And three and bend. And two, that's right, guys. And one, hold it there and turn parallel. Out, parallel and out, parallel and out, parallel and out. It's for four Whew. and three. Mind your hands, mind your quads, mind your hip flexor. Stay on the turn out and lift. Now, really, really focus on the inner side. It's the inner side that's lifting. You shouldn't bind, you shouldn't burn in the in the hip flexor. Of course, easier said than done. For eight, seven, six, and five. Oh my God, four, three, two. Guys, swipe out to the side sideline. Well done, everybody. And just press. By now, as I said, you're getting so strong. This is the easy one. And it's eight, seven. This is again where you catch your breath, this lift. And now let's go into the meaty part. So little circle, little circle. Remember which way you circle. Rib cages are in and circle is four. And three, and now the kick forward. So forward, tap down, up, swipe it back. Forward, tap down, up, swipe it back. Forward and down, up and back. Forward and down. And just four more up to this, come on. Up and forward and up and back to the side. Forward, down, up, back to the side. Two more and down, up, back to the side, guys. Last one. And it's back to the side and circle the other way. <laughs> Remember which way you did? And circle, really, really turn that leg parallel. And circle, it's eight, seven. Oh my God, shake that body. It's four. And three and two. Now start to lift up and contract towards the leg. And then slowly press away. Contract. Really take that time. Slowly press away. Contract. And slowly press away. And contract. Just four more. Oh, hello, Jackie. Four more. Ah. And slowly press. And three more. Ah. And slowly press. And two more in. And press that last one. Meet me here, three poses, here we go. One, two, three, out, down and up. One, two, three, out, down and up. You know my glutes are so tired, they've switched off. It's the core that's picking everything up. One, two, three, out, four more guys, here we go. One, two, three, and out, down and up. Uh, 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 I know, just out, 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 two more. Two, three, come on guys. Ask one and one, two, stay here and pulse and contract. Go press and lift and lift and lift. It's eight, seven, breathe guys, exhale, exhale, four, three, and slowly take yourself out to the side and kick and kick, kick. Now 16 kick, come on, kick and kick and kick. Just eight more, you go eight. Come on, hold on and breathe and breathe. It's four, three, two, and one. Hold on to that leg and bring it in. Well done, everybody. <laughs> Hold on and bring it in. And then let's release the bar. Back to the mat. One more set of press up, and then we're on to core and back to finish off. So this one, the diamond, heart to the diamond, diamond to the heart. This one, probably the one that everyone has to be on the knees, but if you're on your toes, well done. <laughs> so here we go. Shift the shoulders, chest right over those hands, and let's take it down and up. Inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. That's right, in and up, breathe in, breathe out. Up, just eight more, come on. And then you don't have to see arms again, and down, and up. Inhale, exhale, breathe in. And it's four, it's three, yeah. It's two, and hold it here. Breathe and pulse, 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 and press. It's eight, seven, Six and five, four, three and two. Press away, guys. Press away. Press away. Sit back. Sit back. Sit back. Oh my god. Now into the more straightforward abs. So we're gonna lie down. 
never work out which way is clearer, sideways clearer, but you know, I hit the couch all the fireplace. So starting with the lips, yeah. So the whole back is on the floor, and then take a deep breath in, oh man, and breathe out, press the belly button down as you peel the bum off the mat, and put it back down. So ah, uh, and low, and ah, uh, and low, and up, and low. Of course, the legs will move, but they move because you're moving your pelvis, not because you're moving your legs to move the pelvis. Press up and low. Reverse crunch and low. Four more sh and three more sh and two more sh. Guys, hold it here, hold it up. Now lift and lift and lift and lift. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two. Hands to the head. And carry on lifting. Pick the head and shoulders off the floor. It's eight, seven, six. So now the upper abs join in as well. Three and two. Now bring the bum down and lift one leg in the air. Don't mind which one you do first. The other leg comes through. And you can bend the top leg if the head machine is painful. So take the opposite elbow and over. Actually, don't think about elbow. Think about you're trying to get the armpit over. So if you're thinking about elbows, chances are you will close the elbows. But you want the elbows to stay open. So across and down so take the turn a cross hold and down two more cross hold and down last one guys just hold it there arms outside the leg go press and press and press well that martina for this one you just you can just do the leg lift yeah stay on your elbow do the leg lift and press and press and press it's eight seven six and five and three and two hold it here start to straighten the other leg if you want and carry on contracting and press. My uh, prenatal guys, yeah, can just, li just lift and move the leg up and low. Yeah, press and press. It's four and three. And now everybody, the legs are straight, yeah? Start to float the top leg down and go back up. So they come to fifth position and back up. They come to fifth position and prenatal guys, yeah, come and back up. You can stay on the elbows, fifth position. Just the formal, fifth position and back up. Two more, shh, and back up. Last one, hold in fifth position and keep on lifting. Lift, upper body, go lift. And eight, seven, yes, that's right. Oh my God, it's four, three, and two. Come back, come back, come on, well done. Have a quick hug, have a quick hug. And you know which way you're gonna go to the other side. So I turn around so you can, I show you the side that's moving. So the other leg is up down, guys. And now contract over and back. So contract over, well done everybody, and back. And contract over, prenatal guys, start with just one leg lift, yeah, work our way in. And contract over, four more, contract over, and back. So, sorry, I'm just showing the prenatal version guys. I'm showing the prenatal version, the rest of you just keep doing what you're doing, fabulously. Last one, hold it here, and now release the arms outside the leg and contract, and reach, and reach. And a prenatal guys, just lift here, stay here. You can hold the leg to the most challenging angle, and carry on lifting. Now, the rest of us, we reach for four, three. Now, start to straighten the other leg, if you can, and reach. If that's challenging, just put the leg back down. And reach is eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hold it here. Top leg come down, they go to fifth position. Top leg goes back up. So the top leg is the only one that's moving. Ah, and down. Ah, the whole back, apart from your shoulders, all your spine is on the floor, by the way. Your lower back especially, and up. Three more, down, and up. Of course, prenatal guys, yeah, two more. And the last one, hold the legs, and the upper body comes up, and up, and lift, and reach. It's eight, seven, six, come on, just the upper body, four, three, two, and hug. Oh my God, <laughs> I haven't done that sequence for a while. Roll the, roll the legs around, roll the legs around, roll the legs around, well done. Now let's roll up. Now. We've been doing this uh, on our back, but it's really, you know, the, I always say the prenatal guys can do this with Superman. It's very beneficial for us as well, so let's all do Superman. So now, your hands, this is the back now. Yeah, we're gonna focus on the back now. I turn to face you, so. You have the hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. You release one leg, one arm, and the other leg, opposite leg. So far, so good. Yeah, now press up. So, to try to press the arms past your ear, very similar. Yeah, just basically the same idea. You yeah, try to press your arms up past, past your ears without arching the back and without lifting the shoulders. 
So you're using the upper back, mid back to lift the arm. The back leg just stays still. Press and press. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hold it here. And now bring the elbows and the knee to meet across the body and open back out. Elbows and the knee to meet and open back out. So cross elbows and the knee to meet, open back out. And now we're adding on, guys. Next time you open, take it out to the side and come back. And contract in and out. Go out to the side, like airplane, and come back in. So cross and lengthen, out to the side, and back. Four more, cross and lengthen, out to the side and back. Three more, cross and lengthen, out and back. Last one, cross. And you can imagine we hold out to the side. Hi guys, press and run. So guys, basically pressing out and out and out and out. So let's go further out and out and press out and out. It's eight, seven, hello balance. And it's four, three and two, release. And have a quick wiggle around. It's like cat and cow, but with a, with a, you know, with a wiggling bum. <laughs> so really all, every which way. And the other side now. So release the arm and release the opposite leg. But try not to move the leg because otherwise you arch the back. So keep the leg parallel and move the arms up and low. Up, past the ear. If you can go past the ear and up. Now, if you know you can lift the leg without arching the back, you can try that. So you can lift the leg using just your glutes up. And for four and back. And three and back. And two. Now, guys, hold it here. And take the elbows and knee across and open back out. Elbows and the knee across into the core, into the back. Elbows and knee across and then back to the back. Elbows and knee across. We're adding on cross and lengthen and side like aeroplane and back out. Okay? Cross, lengthen, out to the side like an aeroplane and back out. Cross <laughs> and lengthen. To the side like aeroplane and back. Another one, cross, lengthen, out, just two more. Cross, lengthen, side and back. Next time you open out to the side, stay out to the side, hold it here and press. You press the arms down towards the waist and, and lift the leg towards your waist. So you're pressing the arms down towards the waist, you're lifting the leg towards your waist, yeah. And press it, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, and two. Oh, really? Have a quick wiggle out. Have a quick wiggle out. Well done, everybody. And it's four, and three, and two. Lengthen out, breathe. And five, four. Gonna finish with some cardio. So let's come back to the plane. Ah, and that's the job. We're just about right as well. So let's come back to the plane. Ten of these. You're gonna go forward, forward, cross, cross, out, out. You can jump or you can just step. Yeah, here we go. Forward, forward. Cross, cross. Out, out. And jumping jack. In, in. Cross, cross. Out, out. Jumping jack. Go in, in. Cross, cross. Out, out. That's three. So this is the fourth one. In, cross, cross. Well done. Out, out. Jumping. Well, on that one, halfway. In, cross, cross. Out. And now it's a halfway. Go well, in, in, cross, and out, jump, in, jack. Six, out, and easy, a seventh one, and in, cross, and out. And that's the eighth one done. Two left, and out. Come on, guys, last one. Go in, and cross, and out. And here's the 10. Press up to downward dog, guys. Oh, my God. Relax your neck, shake out your neck. Oh. And slowly sit your way down and drag the arms away with you. Have a nice lie down in a chow stretch. Well done, everybody. Five, four, three, two. Nice one. Let's rock forward. We're stretching now. If you can't stay, well, thank you for showing up today. But, uh, Let's go. <laughs> so, again, as usual, I step that foot quite a lot. Well done. Thank you, B. Well done. I step the foot quite a lot forward so I can make sure the knees stay above the ankle when I shift forward. 
And I always say, if you have tight hips like me, making sure you don't go into a weird back arch here. You have to bring the whole thing forward. I think I do this one for ages like that. It doesn't look like a stretch until eventually I was able to come down lower. Yeah. Five, four, three, two. I'm like sweaty, I don't know about you. Shift the hips directly over the knee and flex the foot. So this one, yeah. Just make sure the hips are completely level. And then, yeah, that's it, Jackie. Now press the body forward. <laughs> yes, yeah, nice. Looking good, man. Now those toes are winking back at you. You know you've been good to them in the beginning. <laughs> this is, it feels like nothing, but you know, we, we, when we work out, we work out every part, but what we do with our feet, we just shove them in shoes, that's it. It's not fair, is it? And then start to shift forward now. I turn this way so you can all see. So we're going to a pigeon. Cross that leg over, that's it. And then try to keep, you see both hips are facing the floor. Now, if you're quite tight like me, you're not gonna be touching the floor, yeah? But you want both hips to face the floor. So you might be quite high up like this, that's okay. And then start to then send your body forward. Yeah, <laughs> nice Jackie. So it's a way to open the hip and way to stretch out the glute, yeah. And the, the thing is the back leg, the, the long back leg should have all five toes touching the floor. Sometimes people say things like, I'm like, what are you talking about? Fairy tale. Five, four, three, two. Now sit, sit yourself onto the bum. And in my dream, this is very elegantly done. You lift the back leg across, all the way across. There you go. My kicker would do it like, you know, with her leg brushing her nose. In my, yeah, exactly. in my dream, it did. In my dream, it was like, oh. In reality, it was like, oh. <laughs> Here you go. So right away, you can see what's going to happen. Sit up nice and tall, both bumps equally on the floor. Really make sure you really pull up first and then go to a twist. Now, obviously, prenatal guys, just turn your head and just sort of stretch out the thoracic. So really just open the chest out. Don't have, don't, don't have to bother with here. Just gently take your upper, upper back to the cross. And five, four, three, two. And right away, of course, the, the leg that is out will be the one that is forward this time. So onto the other side, yeah. All this I thought was very smooth, you know, until I come to really do it. <laughs> so again, shift the whole thing forward. Oh, yeah. When you have someone with tight shifts, that's the reaction. Go, oh, man. <laughs> and once more, not to fall into the trap of this really weird opening, you want it all squared up. Four, five, nine. Now start to shift back and then flex the toes. So you might need to reset. You might need, I like to reset. I like to come out to make sure my back is completely straight. And then I start to fold from the hip. And then I might, I might not go too low or I might go lower. Yeah. But you want to straight the back, as open the chest as possible. Breathe in five, you've done the hard part, four, three, two, shift yourself forward and arrange yourself to a, making sure the foot is flexed. This front foot is flexed, so you protect your knees. Yeah. So in an ideal world, the, the, the foot is like parallel to the edge, but you know, it's not, <laughs> my hips not so open, but making sure the hips are square. So you might find yourself quite high up, that's okay. And then you start to lean forward. Just focus on it's a hip opener and a glute loosener. Five, four, three, two, nice one. Now my favorite transition, lean onto your side and shift. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially when you have not, not a lot of space, you really have to get the leg high, otherwise you get to all the furniture. And now, <laughs> so breathe in, oh, nice and tall. Really make sure you open up the chest, that should feel really good. And then take it right across, twisting from the waist. Obviously, prenatal guys, just hold on to your leg and just turn your head and then just turn as much as you can, the upper, just the sort of the chest, upper back area. That's a really nice stretch. Just, of course, don't mess around with, your, with where you're growing a human. 
five, four, three, two, and then coming back, guys. And now come to come to with the lay lacing frog's legs. One more opening. So from here, breathe in. And I like to use my elbows out to just give my knees one more open. Yeah, so Instagram guys, they always get me sort of like off the, the center of the screen because I'm actually seeing the Zoom guys. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the class. Five, four, three. And now slowly straightening the legs. So slowly straightening the legs. Go to a, a curve backwards. So hold on to your ankles or your toes and just really pull away. So really imagine I'm pulling you, I have a string across your belly button and I'm pulling you back while you're trying desperately to hold onto your feet or your legs. And then just really, really pull back. So you really feel a stretch even at the bottom of even just sort of like around the shoulder blade. Five, four, three. And now gently lift up. Now it's a challenging part to try to hit a flat back. So from here, from the nice round, to start to maybe release your toes and press the belly button forward. Now I see a difference. So go into a flat back. And then maybe you keep the flex as well. This might be a bit, bit challenging for. So go from a round back to a flat back. So belly button back, belly button forward. Five, four, three, two. Oh, release. Now, of course, guys, we do as we finish as we start. Let's go to the feet. Thank you, Jackie. One minute. Uh, just one minute, press those toes down and press. And you're on the timer. Well done. 